It surprised them. I mean, they couldn't come up with it. God came up with it. They are the first ones to, to be shocked by it. He clearly died. There's no serious historian who doubts that. It's undeniable. He died and the whole movement was crushed. I mean, it was all based on him. Crushed, demoralized, in mourning, broken. The Messiah died. So then what happened? What happened to take this crushed, demoralized, broken, persecuted, powerless bunch of people and transform them into the most powerful people the world has ever known? What happened? The resurrection happened. That's what happened. That's the only thing that could explain it. What happened that not only changed them, it changed the whole world. It literally transformed the course of human history to this day. It's amazing. Even a world that rejects them and mocks his ways, that they still say today's Easter. They still dress up. It's not wishful thinking. It's some, not some vague story. This is the real resurrection of Messiah. They saw him crucified. They saw the life go out of him. But something happened and that something, that power, that event had to be something that somehow undid that death. It had to be powerful, more powerful than death. So the Apostle Paul would write this, Now I make known to you, brothers and sisters, the gospel that I preached to you. I handed it down to you. He, Messiah died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And he was buried and he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. And then he appeared to Cephas, Peter, then to the twelve. Not some, this, this is our witnesses here. This is like in court. He appeared to more than 500 brethren at one time. Most of them are still alive. They can bear it out. They're still alive, Paul says. Then he appeared to James, Yaakov, then to the, all the apostles, and last of all, as to one untimely born to me. The fact is, he says, Messiah has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The first fruits. And so there he says, listen to what he says now. Next thing he says, or right after that, he says, death has been swallowed up in victory. Not just swallowed up, in victory. He says, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus. Therefore, he says, my beloved brethren, be strong and be immovable. Don't let anybody move you. Always excelling in the work of the Lord. This is not some nice story. Nothing nice about it. It's so real, it transformed history. It came into a world of pagan mythologies, the dark, hopeless world of paganism, and just blew it out of the water. Amen. Blew the gods out of the water. In fact, this whatever happened on Sunday morning, which we know was so powerful that it single-handedly ended the pagan mythology of most of the world single-handedly. Because it was so real, the other things just couldn't compare. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.